There you go. Hey, Tony. So, uh, how you doing? Great, thank you. Are you? I'm all right. Uh, today we're going to go over, um, just real quickly review the supported devices page we have, right? Um, so NX Witness supports hundreds of different manufacturers and thousands of different cameras. And in order for you to find out which cameras and devices are supported, all you need to do is go to support and tools and click on the not this at all. You don't want to click there. <laughs> you want to go to, sorry, our, how it works and then supported devices, right? And you're going to get kicked out to our supported devices page. So this is a separate app that we've created. And the supported devices page actually shows real cameras that are supported in an X-Witness. And the reason that we know that this is supported is that we have anonymous uh, usage statistics and reporting. Um, so when a camera shows up in three different systems and it has the same settings and it performs the same way, um, then it comes into our supported devices system, which you run, yeah. right? And then you go through and you Google it and you check it and make sure that it looks like it's consistent and that it's correct. Um, so we see the brand, we see what, what resolution it is, what frame rates it supports, uh, whether or not it supports IO or PDZ, whether or not it's fisheye camera, Audio. all that stuff is here, right? Yeah. yeah. So Egal is actually the guy who runs it, so he knows more about it than I do. So, you know, I'm explaining it to him, but it's really for you guys. So when you go to the support devices page, right, you can... You can search by uh, manufacturers. So if I want to look for access cameras, then I can look for all the access cameras. Or if I want to look for height vision, I can use that. Or if I just want to, you know, come here and see what cameras exist, uh, maybe you can find some new manufacturers that you haven't worked with before that are also good cameras, right? So let's say I do go into a specific camera. So I'm going to look for an access camera, right? And I also want to look for PDZ, right? So I'm going to go access, and I'm going to say PDZ. And here's all the PDZ cameras that Axis supports. Now, resolution, I want at least, uh, let's say, 1080p. So there you go, 1080p cameras, PDZ for Axis. Now, let's say I want to do the 6035. I go in here, I get the Axis 6035. I can click this button and search for it on Google. See how nice we made that? Yep. Um, or I can go in and look at the different specifics of this camera. So you can see it's 1920 by 1080, it's 30 frames per second, H.264. We're not sure if it supports audio. It does. We support all access audio. But this is self reported information again, right? Um, PDZ, Fish, it's, uh, it's got, it supports motion detection, right? So dual streaming, it's supported. IO, it's supported. The secondary stream also comes in at 480 by 270, right? So that's nice. And then here you can see the popularity of the firmware. So we actually get firmware reports mm -hmm. as well. So it's kind of nice. You can see, uh, you know, a lot about each individual camera. And that's how the supported devices page works. Um, you can clear out all these filters. Um, it's pretty nice, right? Yep. So as you can see, we've got a lot of cameras. And as you know, as a person who runs the system, it goes up every single week. So Every single day, I would say. Now, what... what uh, since we since you're here, um, assuming that we have a customer who has a device and they know that it works, but it's not showing up in this list, what should they do? They should open a support ticket and let us know. Yeah. Right. And then you will go into the system and actually and manually sure. add the yeah. camera. Yeah. Make right. Sure it's, it's, it is there. Yeah. So that that's another option for you guys. But that's the supported uh, IP video devices list. Now it doesn't just include cameras. There's also encoders, right, in here as well, right? Yeah. So anything with video. Encoders, recorders, cameras, I.O. It does include the I.O., so if I search for the P8221, will it be in here? Nope. Should, should be. No, this is only for video devices, yeah. right, as it says on the top. So not I.O.s. Um, it will tell you if a video device has I.O. functionality, but I.O.s themselves are on a separate page uh, in our support portal. Cool. Supported devices page.